The lung microbiota, is the pulmonary microbial community consisting of a complex variety of microorganisms found in the lower respiratory tract particularly on the mucous layer and the epithelial surfaces. These microorganisms include bacteria, fungi, viruses and bacteriophages. The bacterial part of the microbiota has been more closely studied. It consists of a core of nine genera, Prevotella, Sphingomonas, Pseudomonas, Acinetobacter, Fusobacterium, Megasphera, Valonella, Staphylococcus, and Streptococcus. They are aerobes as well as anaerobes and aerotolerant bacteria. The microbial communities are highly variable in particular individuals and compose of about 140 distinct families. The bronchial tree for instance contains a mean of 2,000 bacterial genomes per square centimeter surface. The harmful or potentially harmful bacteria are also detected routinely in respiratory specimens. The most significant are Moraxella catarrhalis, Haemophilus influenzae, and Streptococcus pneumoniae. They are known to cause respiratory disorders under particular conditions namely if the human immune system is impaired. The mechanism by which they persist in the lower airways in healthy individuals is unknown. Fungal genera that are commonly found in the lung microbiota include Candida, Malassezia, Neosartoria, Saccharomyces, and Aspergillus, among others. <laughs> Role of the epithelial barrier The airway epithelium together with alveolar macrophages and dendritic cells play a major role in the initial recognition of bacterial products getting into the lower airways with the air. Since some of these products are potent pro-inflammatory stimuli it is extremely important for the immune system to distinguish between pathogens and non-pathogenic commensals. This prevents the development of constant inflammation and forms tolerance against harmless microbiota. This process becomes much more intriguing when taking into account that commensals often share their surface molecules with pathogens. Epithelial cells are equipped with very sensitive recognition tools, toll-like receptors TLRs, nucleotide binding oligomerization domain-like receptors NLRs, and retinoic acid-inducible gene-like receptors RLRs, which recognize a broad variety of microbial structural components. After recognition of pathogenic bacteria pro-inflammatory pathways are activated and cellular components of the adaptive and innate immunity are recruited to the infection site. One key regulator in this process is the NF-kappa-B which translocates from the cytoplasm into the nucleus and activates pro-inflammatory genes in epithelial cells and macrophages. The DNA binding protein complex recognizes a discrete nucleotide sequence 5 GGGACTTTCT3 in the upstream region of a variety of response genes. The activation of NF-kappa-B by a number of stimuli, bacterial cell walls or inflammatory cytokines results in its translocation to the nucleus. In contrast, harmless bacteria do not cause the translocation of NF-kappa-B into the nucleus thus preventing the inflammation although they can express the same microbe-associated molecular patterns 
One possible mechanism explaining this effect was suggested by Niche showing that non-pathogenic S. typhimurium PHOPC and S. pylorum are able to prohibit the ubiquitination of NF-kappa B inhibitor molecule nuclear factor of NF-kappa B light polypeptide gene enhancer in B cells inhibitor alpha I -kappa B -kappa. Another explanation of commensal tolerance of the epithelium refers to the post-translational modification of a protein by the covalent attachment of one or more ubiquitin monomers. The inhibition of ubiquitination leads to reduction of inflammation, because only polyubiquitinated I -kappa B -kappa is targeted for degradation by the 26S proteasome, allowing NF-kappa B translocation to the nucleus and activation the transcription of effector genes for example IL-8. Probiotic bacteria such as lactobacilli are able to modulate the activity of the UB proteasome system via inducing reactive oxygen species production in epithelial cells. In mammalian cells, ROS have been shown to serve as critical second messengers in multiple signal transduction pathways in response to pro-inflammatory cytokines. Bacterially induced ROS causes oxidative inactivation of the catalytic cysteine residue of UB12 resulting in incomplete but transient loss of Cullen-1 nettilation and consequent effects on NF-kappa B and beta-catenin signaling. Another commensal species, B. theta-yoteomicron, attenuates pro-inflammatory cytokine expression by promoting nuclear export of NF-kappa B subunit rela through a peroxisome proliferator activated receptor gamma PPAR gamma dependent pathway. PPAR gamma target transcriptionally active REL A and induce early nuclear clearance, limiting the duration of NF kappa B action. The balance between pathogens and commensals is extremely important in the maintenance of homeostasis in the respiratory tract. Physiology The airways are continually exposed to a multitude of microorganisms, some of which are able to persist and even colonize respiratory tract. This is possible due to the presence of nutrients, oxygen, and optimal growth temperature. There are several host-derived nutrient sources for microbial residents, secretions from airway epithelial cells especially goblet cells, secretions from submucosal glands and transidate from plasma. Moreover, the pool of available nutrients is increased by the activities of some members of the microbiota. Macromolecular components of respiratory secretions proteins, glycoproteins, lipids, nucleic acids are converted to nutrients e.g. carbohydrates, amino acids. Thus, the metabolic activity of present bacteria allow for the colonization of new species. The commensal bacteria are nonpathogenic and defend our airways against the pathogens. There are several possible mechanisms. Commensals are the native competitors of pathogenic bacteria, because they tend to occupy the same ecological niche inside the human body. Secondly, they are able to produce antibacterial substances called bacteriocenes which inhibit the growth of pathogens. Genera bacillus, lactobacillus, lactococcus, staphylococcus, streptococcus, and streptomyces are the main producers of bacteriocenes in respiratory tract. Moreover, commensals are known to induce Th1 response and anti-inflammatory interleukin IL -10, antimicrobial peptides, FOXP3, secretory immunoglobulin A Siga production. Topic. 
Topic: Clinical significance. Changes in microbial community composition seem to play a role in progression of such pulmonary disorders as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease (COPD), asthma, and cystic fibrosis. In humans, S. aureus is part of the normal microbiota present in the upper respiratory tract, and on skin and in the gut mucosa. S. aureus, along with similar species that can colonize and act symbiotically but can cause disease if they begin to take over the tissues they have colonized or invade other tissues, have been called pathobionts. MRSA can similarly colonize people without making them sick. The presence of such genera as Mycoplasma, Pseudomonas, and Staphylococcus is correlated with stable COPD state. On the other hand, Prevotella, Mesorhizobium, Microbacterium, Micrococcus, Valonella, Rhizobium, Stenotrophomonas, and Lactococcus present mostly in healthy individual cohort. The relative abundance of proteobacteria is increased in asthmatic children. Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Staphylococcus aureus, and Burkholderia capacia are found most often in cystic fibrosis patients. High throughput sequencing and the whole genome sequencing approaches will provide the further information about the complexity and physiological implication of commensal bacteria in the lower respiratory tract. Topic. See also Human microbiome List of human flora Bacteriocin <laughs>